Hi there, everybody. Meteorologist Dante Jones here in the Dick Goddard Weather Center with your uh, Facebook Live forecast on this Friday as we get into the weekend. We're, start, we're into the Christmas season now. Uh, maybe over the weekend, some folks trying to get some Christmas shopping done, holiday shopping done, what have you. Uh, maybe you're looking to do some decorating. Yeah. Maybe you wait until this weekend, uh, first weekend of December, to start decorating and uh, getting things up. Uh, this weekend doesn't look terrible. Uh, but there are some times better than others where you want to get some things done. And we'll run through that here uh, in the forecast for the next few minutes. All right, first, uh, let's get you out where it's, what's happening now on this Friday. As uh, no doubt some folks are at work or maybe you're watching this at your desk or maybe you're at home just watching on the phone or computer or what have you. Uh, and you got plans this evening uh, or over the weekend here to get you through that. You'll notice if you're looking at the big picture here, the, the uh, region-wide satellite and radar, the storm system moved through this morning, and now we're starting to dry out. If you see a, a drier batch here in Illinois and Indiana and then much of Ohio, we'll scoot a little bit closer to home, and we are drying out. So I'd say... Uh, over towards Richland, Ashland County, uh, or down towards uh, uh, Wayne County, Holmes County, uh, Stark County, uh, down towards Tuscaroras County, Carroll County. We're, we're drying out. That's the big picture. Now, anywhere north of that, <laughs> then that's where we see the shower activity uh, still going on. But that's going to move to the north. So give it a next uh, hour, hour and a half or so, and then we're going to see most of us drying out. Now, we're not going to see sunshine will just be dry. Uh, so it is still gonna stay pretty dreary. So I'll scoot in here a little bit just to show you where we're seeing a, a moderate batch of shower activity just north of Bellevue. Uh, that's over towards Erie County, uh, over towards uh, Sandusky County, uh, seeing that. But other than that, uh, it's just light shower activity from Vermilion to Lorraine, to Wakeman, and down towards Wellington and Oberlin. Um, over towards uh, Fremont, uh, Port Clinton, still seeing some shower activity over there. Just again, it's light in nature, uh, nothing really heavy. Uh, Auburn, Middlefield, I'll pull out a little bit. Manaway, uh, up uh, to Roaming Shores, Minor, Ashtabula, all seeing some uh, shower activity there. And it's light again, and it's going to continue to pull off to the north. So give it again, the next hour and a half. Uh, to two hours and we're going to be dry so uh, if you got the the plans this evening where you're going to go out and do some things maybe some shopping go out to dinner what have you uh, I think there's some I think there's some lighting ceremonies going on here I think in the events we have uh, one of those I think in Canton maybe um, I think you're good this evening it'll be drier so notice that we're starting to dry out here uh, temperatures are right on the money temperatures not bad I mean this is actually where we should be for this time of year mid 40s uh, so probably maybe the jacket maybe the heavier jacket uh, will do you just fine if you're out and about uh, maybe a hat I tend to wear a hat in the 40s I have a rule of thumb the way I dress so if it's in the 40s or colder I wear my coat uh, but if it's in the 50s then I wear my hoodie uh, and just depends on the way the wind is, if I wear the hat or not. Uh, if it's kind of breezy, I don't have a lot of hair. Uh, so if it's kind of breezy, then I tend to have the hat on. But if it's not, then, you know, I take the hat off. But maybe you have a rule of thumb like that, the way you dress. But uh, the breezes are light, so that, that helps it feel a little better. Uh, we're in the mid-40s and light breezes, so not, not feeling too bad. This is the notice that drier slot. So that's what I'm saying here. Now, this uh, eight hour forecast, this is for uh, Cleveland. And so right up along the lake and you'll see that in the future cast when I run through that, uh, we'll still see a few showers here and there. Uh, but much of northeast Ohio is going to be drying out within the next hour. Uh, but right up along the lake, we'll still see a few showers until that that last northerly uh, trek gets out of here. Uh, but again, mid 40s. Uh, and tonight we're not going to dip much colder than that, too. Tonight we're going to actually feel uh, pretty good, similar to last night. So tomorrow morning will be dry. So if you like to get the jog in in the morning, tomorrow morning, Saturday, you're like, hey, I'm going to get up, get my jog in, start my day. It's not going to be a bad one at all. It's not going to be cold, too cold. I mean, we'll be in the 40s still, but uh, not going to be too cold. So we'll be okay. Uh, this is the weather checklist. You know, the jacket, uh, the cup of coffee with the, with the, london seattle feel out there uh and the evening jog the evening jog will be okay because we'll be drier for the evening 
uh, Tino Bavinzi's looking at me from the break room because he wants to get his evening jog in. So he's listening in on the Facebook Live here. <laughs> if you want to get the yard, more than likely he's probably listening because he may have to report out live in the elements. So uh, you'll be, it'll be dry, Tino. The rain's going to move on, so you'll, you'll be good. Uh, <laughs> the yard work or the decorating. I think you may be okay, but it's just going to be so damp from the rain. So I, I think if you're trying to rake leaves or trying to do anything in the yard from, you know, from over the summer, kind of clean it up or what have you, today's just not the best day because it's just so wet. Decorating outside, I mean, you still can do it. <laughs> It'll just be wet if you're trying to hang uh, uh, lights or put decorations in the yard or what have you. Maybe a little better to wait until tomorrow uh, it'll be a little drier tomorrow but it'll still be wet with maybe isolated sprinkles or so um we don't really start to dry out into the latter part of next week we got uh, an active pattern coming our way for the next five days uh the umbrella you'll want here for the next couple of hours and then uh i started to get the anchors and reporters in on on what to suggest for for lunch and dinner uh so joe tui here is suggesting a light turkey chili and he specified that light is the word and i don't know what a light turkey chili is i think the turkey in itself is light um but you know He's having a little fun with us, so maybe Tina will be uh, next at some point to suggest what we could all have uh, for dinner. All right, that does sound good. I mean, it's lunchtime. I haven't had lunch yet, so a light turkey chili or any chili of any kind sounds very delicious right about now. But <laughs> after I'm done here talking to you all, and before I start the uh, forecast for the evening newscast, I will grab something to scarf down, more than likely a, a salad. You know, TV adds some pounds on you. So, yeah, I got to look a little thinner, right? Uh, all right. So the fishing forecast right across the street here on the, along the Lake Erie. Uh, there's and, and anywhere across northeast Ohio. But I, I mentioned Lake Erie because it seems like no matter um, what type of weather it is out there, you're always going to find the fishing folks out there on the rocks, on the piers, uh, doing some fishing. So here is the fishing forecast. Not going to be a bad one. Um, we'll be dry for the most part. Um, and we're looking at temperatures in the 40s, a little breeze here and there. But of course, when you're by the water, it's going to feel a little cooler. Uh, one to two foot chop winds aren't going to be as breezy as they have been. So southeasterly wind about five to 15 knots. So I think you're fine. And, and fishing folks know how to dress. But just, you know, again, it's still going to be cool. You're out there for a few hours doing some fishing. So uh, you want to dress warmly. All right. So here are the events. The uh, glow with stow happening on Saturday, uh, cloudy skies, temperatures in the 50s and dry, and then light up Lakewood happening as well, mild clouds, temperatures in the 50s, dry, but then Little Italy is holding their holiday art walk. You're, you're dry here for this evening and dry for tomorrow evening, but then Sunday is when we start to get uh, some shower activity in there for a little Italy. But the temperatures are good in the 50s. Uh, and and I, you know what? I like Christmas uh, time where temperatures are warm. I really think I need to be in like Miami, Florida or somewhere where I can walk where there's uh, sunshine or stars in the sky and we're decorating palm trees for Christmas while I'm on the beach. That's cool for me, but I get it. I know those of you who like the, the more nostalgic, cool, uh, cool and, and snow on the ground or snowing, snow coming from the sky. Uh, uh, I know you like that scene. And, and if you do, unfortunately, this isn't the weekend for it. It's just going to be on the milder side uh, in the 50s while we're trying to get into the Christmas spirit here. But don't you worry. There is some there are some patterns that we're, we're, we're watching uh, from mid to late month. That brings some colder air in here. And then with the colder air, we just have to watch the storm tracks to see what storms give us uh, some snow or a, or a mix or rain or what have you. So uh, we'll, we'll watch that as, as the trend starts to turn a little colder late month. All right, so drought monitor. Here's what we had last week. There's some splotches of abnormal dryness. And so this week we still keep some splotches of abnormal dryness. It's been a relatively dry month. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, so, I mean, it's just abnormally dry in places. So nothing to write home about. Uh, we show this just for context to show that we've been either dry or wet or what have you compared to normal, but there's nothing to worry about. As a matter of fact, nothing to worry about because it's going to be an active pattern over the next five days. So, all right. So tomorrow, it's only a 20% chance in there. Uh, and I'll show you in the future cast of a few light sprinkles here or there, but we are mainly dry on Saturday, just cloudy. It's going to be dreary. It's not, we're not going to see really much any sunshine for Saturday. 
On Sunday, we're dry in the morning, so if you're headed to services, you're fine, but then on Sunday afternoon, we get a few on and off again scattered showers around. Then on Monday, scattered rain showers uh, on Monday. It's not a whole lot in nature, but there's some showers and some clouds around. Then on Tuesday and Wednesday, things turn colder. Uh, and so we have a rain snow mix in there right now. It says morning rain snow mix on Tuesday and, and the afternoon primarily dry. And then on Wednesday, a rain snow mix uh, moving by that may have to be updated. And, and, and again, once I'm done uh, giving you all the live and I start to forecast, I'll look at the look at what the models have to say as, as far as the timing goes on Tuesday and Wednesday, because that might have changed. But the big picture is for Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to turn a lot colder. We're only in the upper 30s. So that means we'll either have a rain snow mix or some snow showers for Tuesday and Wednesday. Right now, not looking at any accumulation with that, but as we get closer to the event, then that forecasting becomes a lot more accurate and we get a little better handle of what's actually happening with the atmosphere at that time. Uh, but right now, we're not looking at anything like what we had a few days ago. All right, so... Uh, this is what I was talking. This is what I was saying. How we we were been, we were dry for November. Uh, now, granted, we had some snow in November. We had a couple of snows in there. But as far as pure rain from falling from the sky, 3.37 inches is our normal amount of rainfall for the month. We only got nearly two inches. Uh, so it, you can see why we have those splotches of abnormal dryness. So it's it's been kind of dry. It's also been kind of warm too. We've had a 13 days where our temperatures were above average uh, for November and six days where we were right on the money and 11 days where we were below average. So uh, it was a relatively warm and dry month uh, for November. So we'll have to see what November, what December holds for us. All right, so uh, let me run through the future cast. I don't know why that was skipped, but it's important. So let me go back here. All right, so here's three o'clock. So notice, much of us are dry across northeast Ohio. Now, right up along the lake, that's where you still see that system trying to pull off. So, say, in Medina, in New London, in Streetsboro, in Worcester, and Mansfield, 3 o'clock this afternoon, it's cloudy, it's damp on the ground, but there's no rain falling from the sky. But then you head north, if you're in, say, Oberlin, and Port Clinton, and Cleveland, and, and Minner, and Ashtabula, you're still seeing some scattered rain showers falling from the sky. It's not until we get to about, say, uh, the evening rush, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock even, where we're all dry. And we're not seeing maybe some patchy drizzle here or there, but for the most part, uh, we're dry. Maybe some patchy fog in places. Uh, if you're headed out this evening, there's 8, 9, 10, we're fine. Uh, then we get towards 11, midnight, and we start to see some showers, 1 o'clock in the morning, see some showers come in. So... Again, I, I, I'll back it up here and I'll say give it the next couple of hours. Uh, there's 3 o'clock all the way into about 11 o'clock. We are dry. Uh, so the afternoon and the evening on the town, you're fine. You don't need the umbrella. Just the jacket will be fine. Temperatures in the 40s. We're only going down to 41 overnight tonight. So where we are now in, in the lower to mid 40s, we're just going to kind of hold right on through um, right on through the evening and into the overnight. All right, and so then as we get into the weekend, here's Saturday morning. Look at that, we're fine. Saturday morning, we're dry, cloudy skies. Now this model says now there, there might be, especially a little further south, there might be a few breaks in the clouds here or there, maybe a little bit of blue sky and sunshine, but by and large, you can see the amount of cloud cover there. We're gonna stay uh, cloudy. Uh, for the most part, notice those those splotches of green. So that's why I keep the 20 percent in there for Saturday because there could be an isolated passing light sprinkle or shower. But we are by and large dry, but cloudy on Saturday. And then we take you through Saturday overnight. We're dry. No problems. Cloudy skies. Sunday morning looking good. Cloudy skies, but we are dry. There's noontime still staying dry. There's the early part of the afternoon. We start to see the rain come in from the west. Uh, and so here's the middle part of the afternoon, scattered showers return uh, for Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening uh, as well. And then we uh, run that through and then there's Monday uh, overnight, Sunday night into Monday and we get some more scattered showers around. So we got our chances uh, for seeing uh, some wet weather 
uh, even though we've been abnormally dry, we have our chances to make up for that. All right, so rain tapers mid-afternoon today. Temperatures in the mid-40s. So we are staying seasonably cool, uh, but the rain is going to leave. It'll just be damp on the ground. And then tonight, cloudy. A few isolated sprinkles here and there. Temperatures about 41. Uh, and then over the weekend, just to... to you know, to sum it all up in a nice little package there for the weekend, we're warm in the lower 50s. Uh, and then for Saturday, uh, we are dry, but nice lated sprinkle. Sunday, dry in the morning, scattered showers for the afternoon. Then the eight-day forecast uh, for Monday, a few scattered showers around in the morning. And it looks like by the afternoon, we start to dry out, maybe a peak or two of blue sky. Temperatures in the mid-40s. And then as this front comes through, woo, a trough of low pressure brings us cooler temperatures and a rain snow mix for Tuesday and Wednesday only in the upper 30s probably going to be on the breezy side too so it's going to be wintry uh, but then we get that warming trend back up here as a, a ridge of high pressure works in mid 40s for next Thursday partly to mostly cloudy partly to mostly sunny by next Friday 48 flirting with 50 again and then by next weekend we'll still keep the same thing where we're drier and temperatures in the 40s and possibly 50s so there is the wrap up there uh, of the forecast. Just you and I, a little Facebook Live, a little fireside chat on this dreary Friday afternoon. I may get another cup of coffee because it just kind of feels like that type of day. But uh, nonetheless, I'm going to get some lunch. I'm going to forecast for the afternoon shows. Andre's taking an extended weekend. So it's Mackenzie Barton, myself, holding down the fort. You know, the last time. I left the weather center to Andre and McKenzie, to man and to woman. Uh, they gave us a snowstorm with uh, several inches of snow on the ground earlier this week. I had to take control back. And so now we're getting some warmer temperatures. That's what I'm saying. No, anyway, I joke, I kid. Uh, McKenzie and I will see you starting at four o'clock. Have a good one, everybody.